here. Rita. Here. Rita here. Donahue. Here. Donahue here. Holly. Here. Holly here. Farrenwald. Here. Farrenwald here. Hill. Here. Hill here. Mac. Here. Mac here. Carr. Here. Carr here. Cantello Zillman. Here. Cantello Zillman here. Slattery. Slattery absent. Clinker. Here. Clinker here. Johnson. Johnson absent. Alexander. Here. Alexander here. Bellato. Here. Bellato here. Casitas. Here. Casitas here. Twelve present, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Next, we move to presentation of journal proceedings. I need a motion to approve the City Council minutes for the date of August the 27th, 2019. Do I have a motion by Alderman Cantello Zillman? A second by Alderman Mech. Any questions? Roll call, please. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Hill. Aye. Hill, aye. Mech. Aye. Mech, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Cantello Zillman. Aye. Cantello Zillman, aye. Clinker. Aye. Clinker, aye. Alexander. Aye. Alexander, aye. Bellato. Aye. Bellato, aye. Cosidus. Aye. Cosidus, aye. Twelve ayes, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Mr. Holloway, to the podium, please. <coughs> And whoever family members want to stand along with them or behind them, why don't you stand over here? Okay. You don't mind? Here's the next one. Face it this way. You're going to face the camera. Okay. And you're going to repeat after me. Okay. Right? Nice and easy. I state your name. I am Brian Christopher Holloway. Having been appointed. I've been appointed. To the office. To the office. A full-time officer. A full-time officer. For the city of Blue Island. For the city of Blue Island. In the county of Cook. In the county of Cook. Do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of Illinois. Of the state of Illinois. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Discharge. Discharge. The duties. The duties. Of office. Of office. Of a full-time police officer. Of a full-time police officer. For the city of Blue Island. For the city of Blue Island. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Now I'll open up for public comment. Come on in. Good, good evening, everybody. My name is Jerry Dagnus. That's D-A-G 
E-N-A-I-S. I live at 12814 Irving Avenue, Blue Island. The subject of my comments tonight are the CalSAG Trail. And I see by the agenda that the issues I'm concerned with are going to be addressed on item number 8B, number 3, motion to approve a CalSAG Trail maintenance proposal. Okay, I am a bicycle trail advocate and I log hundreds of miles a year uh, doing this uh, for my health and just pure enjoyment. Uh, I'd like to make the committee of members who are going to uh, make a motion on this uh, project aware of what's going on over at Phase Point. I'm over there frequently, at least a couple of times a week. And what we have now is a beautiful trail going from Ashland Avenue uh, through Phase Point to the bridge over the Little Calumet River. That trail now has not had any maintenance done on it since it was built. What do I mean by maintenance? It's the sides of the trail, the shoulders, are filled with weeds to six and seven feet in height. In fact, when I bike down that trail, down the yellow line down the center, you have to brush your way through the weeds. Um, I have photos in my uh, iPad here of when the trail was built, after it was built, immediately after it was built, and as it is now, if any of the committee members would like to see these conditions, I would be glad to show them to you after the meeting or whenever. But uh, for me, it, and what I see in doing my biking, it's a matter of, it boils down to a quality of life issue for the community. Quality of life? Yes, it brings people to the community uh, for recreation and enjoyment, and also maybe they want to stop in and eat somewhere. How do I know? Well, if I bike the trail starting at, at uh, Alsip, at Cicero and Freedom Park there, Cicero Avenue, uh, you bike west on that trail and it's full of people all the time. During the week, weekends, so on and so forth, there's lots of people using it. On top of all that, each of the municipalities that that trail passes through has some sort of a responsibility to maintain the trail. And I've been out there uh, further west in the Palos area where I've seen big huge tractors coming through pulling lawnmowers uh, you know, uh, to trim the uh, sides of the trail. So those of you who are going to uh, vote on such an issue, I urge you to please take these uh, uh, thoughts of mine into consideration and let's, uh, let's beautify the trail and also I see on item number four, uh, project status, IDOT construction engineering service agreements. Please let's get this done. <laughs> uh, uh, the more we wait, the, the more time goes by and I know there's more pressing issues in the community, very important things that we're all concerned with. But uh, for me, for trail enthusiasts, this is my issue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. My name is Donna Lee. I live in Deer Point. I am the neighborhood watch captain for California Gardens and Deer Point. One of the questions that I wanted to ask was, why was the substation taken from um, the California Gardens area, police? Why was? I get manpower, I would assume. Manpower? Right. OK. One of the issues that we have over in my neighborhood watch meeting is once a month, every Thursday, once a month at 7 p.m. One of the issues that we are having over in California Gardens are dra is drag racing. From what I understand, the police has been called out several times, and they come, cars disperse, and then again about 6 p.m. it starts up again. This is not the first time I've heard about this drag racing and I'm trying to see if we can kind of get to a consensus. Are they going down, if I may interrupt, are they going uh, north and south in California or on your street? No, on this is, I live in Deer Point, California Gardens on 140, 141st Street in place right there by that elementary school, Gordon. Okay. 
So that's Harris. No, it's on no. the other first side. Okay. Place. place. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. Okay. 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 Thank you. Maybe I misspoke. Okay. So, um, and from at what? minimum, could we have some presence over there? I mean, the residents even know the color of the cars. Um, we got plate numbers would assist us, but again, we all, our chief is here. We'll try to send somebody out at ASAP to see if we can catch them. But we need the communities, as you know, as uh, the they watch group, we need the plate number and people are willing to testify and say, this is the plot, this is the car. Or they know the car. cars. They, From what I understand, they do know the cars, okay. you know, the color of the cars, but plate numbers, I mean, if they're drag racing, they're make, going so fast. So make and, make and model will also help. Okay, but also the police over there. Yes. Can we, you know, instead of just doing the drive-by, can we allocate some officers over there? Sure. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Good evening. My name is Carol DePace Green. I hope you can hear me. I'm very happy to see that there has been more than one rally to maintain a community hospital in Blue Island. I was happy to see the video of employees in front of St. Benedict's during the hearing. I was very happy to see the uh, union presence and union rally. I was happy to see you there, Mayor. I was happy to see uh, State Representatives uh, Slaughter and Bob Rita present and both speaking. I did not see Will Davis, although I heard his name spoken. I didn't see any of our aldermen, and I imagine that's because most of you have other commitments, such as full-time jobs, that probably kept you away from that particular opportunity. Lucky you, there's going to be more opportunities this Saturday. One is going to be at 9 o'clock. The mayor's going to have a rally. There's going to be a march at 1 o'clock. Uh, and, and I think it's important for our elected officials to be able to talk about the many protests, peaceful protests, regarding the issues that are going on with that hospital because it absolutely needs to be sold. It should not be left a shell. I don't know how many of you are keeping up with uh, the information that's being posted on the uh, health care website. I certainly have emailed the last piece of information to all of you. Some of you have responded. Thank you. Uh, Alderman Mech, thank you for responding. Uh, and thank you for reading it. You know, some people don't have time to read it. We get it. If you don't have time to read it and you don't have time to see it, you probably don't have time to be sitting in this seat that you're occupying because you really don't have time to take care of the people's business. And I don't care what seat you're sitting in, you're here for the sole purpose of taking care of the people's business, not just warming the chair. Uh, so we do want you to advocate. We do want to see you at the 9 o'clock rally, the 1 o'clock uh, peaceful protest. Do something because we do want to see your presence and we do want to hear from you and we do want you to keep us updated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mayor, may I say something? Sure, go ahead. Ms. Green, I was there at that rally and also with Alderman Klinger. I didn't see you. Thank you for telling me that you were there because if you didn't tell me that you were there, I didn't see you in the yeah, video. I was, I was there. I talked to John actually. So I wasn't behind the, where the people were. I was out in the audience, but I was there. They were there. That that, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad to hear that. And, and maybe, you know, uh, uh, it's unfortunate the camera didn't turn around so that people could see who all was there. Thank you for being there. I appreciate it. Thank you for being there. I appreciate it. Um, next time, you're our elected officials. Say something, you know, because uh, you have a right to speak too. Thanks. 
Anyone else? I'll move on to report of city officials, presentation resolutions. Under mayor's announcements, I want to remind everyone, almost was it 18 years ago tomorrow, is the 9-11. That changed not only <coughs> the lives of Americans here in this country, but basically the lives of everyone in, across the world. Uh, it's a day that, just like December the 7th, Pearl Harbor Day, 9-11 is our Pearl Harbor for the younger generations. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., and I'm assuming it's in front of uh, the police station, will be a ceremony, a brief ceremony, commemorating, remembering all those who lost their lives, those who went to go so support, the first responders, everyone who had anything to do with 9-11 in order to um, address the victims in that terrible day in the lives of this country. So if you can make it, tomorrow at 9 a.m. in front of uh, the Hawaii Police Station, a little brief ceremony in recognition for all those who lost their lives on that horrendous day. There's also, for first responders, this coming Sunday, the 15th, what's called a Blue Mass for all first responders and military personnel. Uh, at St. Benedict's Church Parish at 3 o'clock. All are welcome. I repeat, all are welcome, not only them. But again, it's first, first responders, veterans. <coughs> but we would like the whole community to be out there and attend the Blue Mass this coming Sunday at 3. As uh, Ms. DePace Green has mentioned, uh, there will be a rally to show support for keeping the hospital open and also a way of showing uh, having quality care options in Blue Island. There will be a rally hosted by the city of Blue Island. We've posted these in English and Spanish. We're not done yet. In fact, we've contacted the school districts, uh, the high schools, the grammar schools, the mayor's office, the elected officials, state, federal uh, residents, and we continue requesting all of you <coughs> to spread the word. You're good in Facebook. You're good at Twitter. So let's show it. We need massive amount of people the veterans groups are supposed to be showing up. So there's no excuse. What, did you pass them out to the schools already? Because our uh, high school did not get it yet. Well, let's put it this way. We had to get permission, and once they okay it, each superintendent and each principal, once it prickles down, then they're supposed to help us spread the word. Uh, so we'll have these. If you need some, we have them in English and Spanish. We posted it in uh, the buildings that we control, and we just want you to uh, spread the word. I have another one question. I know you made a lot of phone calls out for the uh, the 4th of July. Do you think you could send out phone calls for this? For the Let me ask you this. If you grant us permission, a reverse 911? <coughs> oh, wait. I mean, but we sent them out for the fireworks, right? And about the parade? Just want to see. We can do it. So we can do that. Um, again, it's our time not only for Brian to show, but also the Southland, and again, as I stressed before, it's not only a Blue Island issue, it's not a Southland issue, it's an American hospital issue that needs to be addressed. Uh, that institution's been there, as I stated before, at that last rally since 1905. There's options, and let me ask, add this without going too much in detail. Almost two hours after that rally, I received a call that Mount Sinai had made a phone call regarding Metro South and inquiries into that. So let's keep it going. And I'm not privy as to whether negotiations have started, but they call, finding out, wanting to know more information regarding that. So we keep we keep the pressure on, and there's other options that we're working on that I cannot discuss at this time. Uh, City Clerk, any business, any bids? I, I do have one item. I got a, a phone call Sunday and an email from uh, Alderman Johnson, um, the Untouchables Parade, where well, they'd like to have that this Saturday, the 14th. They have got new uh, people running it, so we'll need a consensus. If it's up to you, I, mean, I have no problem. I checked with the police. From Hart Park to Memorial Park. Right, and I checked with the police and fire. They they can staff it. Before. Okay. <clears throat> it's up to the council. What time? Is it? What time is it? Right. It's 11. So I would think probably 11 to noon at the most. Straight down, straight down Western Avenue. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Consensus? <laughs> I so move. <laughs> and no bid. Uh, city Treasurer. Thank you. All the aldermen should have received the reconciliation statement from the ending um, August 31st, 2019. <laughs> and I apologize for sending it out late Monday, both that and the trans, uh, transfer of restricted <clears throat> funds. In the Motion. We have a motion by Alderman uh, Donahue, second by Alderman Kill. Any questions? Roll call, please. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Hill. Aye. Hill, aye. Mac. Aye. Mac, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Cantello Zillman. Aye. Cantello Zillman, aye. Clinker. Aye. Clinker, aye. Alexander. Aye. Alexander, aye. Bellato. Aye. A lot of I, Cositus. Cositus, I, 12 I's here. Thank you. Okay, the next thing is the uh, unrestricted and restricted funds transfer, the total of $136,303.56. Need a motion, please. Need a motion by Alderman Donahue, second by Alderman Klinker. Any questions? Roll call, please. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Hill. Aye. Hill, aye. Mac. Aye. Mac, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Cantillo Zillman. Aye. Cantillo Zillman, aye. Clinker. Aye. Clinker, aye. Alexander. Aye. Alexander, aye. Bellato. Aye. Bellato, aye. Cositus. Aye. Cositus, aye. Twelve eyes, Your Honor. Thank you. The last thing I want to inform the council, uh, some of the aldermen have asked for the expenditure and, and, and receivables. Uh, we're trying to put that all together so it's more accurate and uh, up to date. So I'm trying to hopefully within a week or two, definitely for the end of the third quarter, that'll be put hopefully put together. Dave Myers is working and everyone else is putting, trying to put it together. So I apologize for that and you will get the information because if we print it out now, it's not going to be accurate because the account expenditures are correct, but the receivables are not. But we're working on it. Okay, thank you. As soon as it's possible. Any other information, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you. Uh, city Attorney? No. All right. Committee reports, Community Development Committee. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, we haven't had a meeting since our last city council. Our next meeting is tomorrow, right here at 7 p.m. Thank you. Finance Committee? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the meeting, uh, as we met yesterday, September 9th, here in the East Annex. Uh, the meeting was called to order by Chairman Kevin Donahue at 6.07 p.m. in the East Annex. Roll call was then taken. Alderman Donahue, Boato, Clinker, and Alexander in attendance. Absent was Alderman Johnson. Also in attendance was City Engineer Eric Alvarez with Robinson Engineering and Lisa Durbin. This was now the second meeting in a row that there is nobody from the Finance or Administration Department in attendance. Lisa Durbin offered the only public comment inquiring about sales tax revenues. The first item up for discussion was the accounts payable for 9-11-2019 in the amount of $536,557.09. There is much discussion and questions asked, but since nobody from the administration was there to answer, eight items were pulled from the accounts payable until further explanation can be given. Those items are as follows, Acorn Legal, Advanced Orthopedics, BI, Crestwood, Rotary, Delgado Law Firm, Municipal Systems Inc., Odelson and Sterk, Robert Malaro Law Firm, and the law firm of Cynthia Harris. There was a motion made by Alderman Blotto and a second made by Alderman Alexander. Voice vote was taken and the accounts payable for $481,687.54 was approved unanimously. So I'd like to make that in the form of a motion for the new, the new number for the accounts payable. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Alderman Bellotto, any questions? Roll call. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. <coughs> aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. <coughs> Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Hill. Aye. Hill, aye. Mac. Aye. Mac, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Cantillo Zillman. Aye. Cantillo Zillman, aye. Clinker. Aye. Clinker, aye. Alexander. Aye. Alexander, aye. Bellotto. Aye. Bellotto, aye. Cositus. Aye. How's this? I 12 eyes, Your Honor. Thank you. 
Next, the, uh, the committee heard a proposal from Illinois Fire Restoration Services, Inc. to provide maintenance along the Calumet Sag Trail. The initial cost would be $1,375, which would cut down the three to five foot tall grass and brush along the pathway. According to Mr. Dagnus, it's taller, which I, I believe. After that, the maintenance would occur weekly at a rate of $210 until the season's over. This will be reimbursed to the city through a grant through the Department of Fish and Wildlife. And Eric, we could reapply next year for the same thing. We have a limited amount of grant funds, but we have enough definitely to cover this year. Sure. This year. So there's enough to cover okay. this year, and next year we'll, we'll reevaluate. Um, so I'd like to make a motion to approve the CalSAG maintenance proposal. Got a motion second by Alvin Hill. Any questions? Roll call, please. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Hill. Aye. Hill, aye. Mac. Aye. Mac, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Cantello Zoman. Aye. Cantello Zoman, aye. Clinker. Aye. Clinker, aye. Alexander. Aye. Alexander, aye. Bellato. Aye. Bellato, aye. Cosidus. Aye. Cosidus, aye. Twelve ayes, Your Honor. Thank you. The committee then heard a proposal from Eric Alvarez regarding the selection of an engineering firm for the Kelsag Trail Blue Island West segment. The name of the firm is, is was it Intera? Engineering. Terra Engineering, and they were also the engineering firm who did the work on the already existing portion of the trail. There's a motion by Alderman Alexander and a second by Alderman Bellato to approve Terra Engineering. I'd like to make a motion to approve this. Motion. Do I have a second by Alderman Bellato? Any questions? And the work would be again next next spring, early next spring. It should be again early spring. It's on schedule for early spring. Early spring. Motion second. Uh, roll call, please. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Hill. Aye. Hill, aye. Mac. Aye. Mac, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Cantello Zillman. Aye. Cantello Zillman, aye. Clinker. Aye. Clinker, aye. Alexander. Aye. Alexander, aye. Bellato. Aye. Bellato, aye. Cosidus. Aye. Cosidus, aye. Twelve ayes, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, next, the committee discussed um, a proposal with the village of proposing for water connection. The committee received uh, an estimate, estimated uh, numbers from our accounting department and the city treasurer, but was waiting on the engineering numbers to come in to make a final decision. It was uh, moved to table until the next meeting. Uh, the committee then heard a proposal from Sam Schwartz regarding mixed-use development, shared parking study for the city of Blue Island. They're going to study some of the municipal lots in the Uptown Business District. Uh, this item went before the Community Development Committee previously and would cost the city $8,600 to complete, which will be paid out of business district funds. There's a motion by Alderman Blotto and second by Alderman Klinker to approve Sam Schwartz to complete this parking study. Um, voice vote was taken, the matter was approved unanimously. Committee discussed uh, a proposed purchasing policy, uh, which was first proposed in June. It's now on its third draft. There's much discussion and many changes were made. There's a motion by Alderman Bellotto and a second by Alderman Klinker to approve the amended purchasing policy. Voice vote was taken and the, measure was uh, the motion was approved annually. Finally, the committee discussed payroll for the week of August 23rd, 2019. It's September 6, 2019. There's a motion made by Alderman Klinker to approve the August 23rd payroll for $330,518.01. $330, and a second made by Alderman Bellotto. Voice vote was taken, and the payroll was approved unanimously. I'd like to make a motion to approve. Motion by Alderman Donahue, second by Alderman Holly. Any questions? Roll we'll call, please. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Hill. Aye. Hill, aye. Mac. Aye. Mac, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Cantello Zoman. Aye. Cantello Zoman, aye. Clinker. Aye. Clinker, aye. Alexander. Aye. Alexander, aye. Bellato. Aye. Bellato, aye. Cosidus. Aye. Cosidus, aye. Twelve ayes, Your Honor. Thank you. Next, there is a motion to approve the September 6, 2019 payroll for $322,652.48. Motion was made by Alderman Bellato, second by Alderman Alexander. Voice vote was taken and the matter was approved unanimously. I'd like to make a motion to approve motion this payroll. Motion second by Alderman Hill. Any questions? Roll call. Rita. Aye. Rita, aye. Donahue. Aye. Donahue, aye. Holly. Aye. Holly, aye. Farrenwald. Aye. Farrenwald, aye. Hill. Aye. Hill, aye. Mac. Aye. Mac, aye. Carr. Aye. Carr, aye. Cantello Zoman. Aye. Cantello Zoman, aye. Clinker. Aye. Clinker, aye. Alexander. Aye. Alexander, aye. Bellato. Aye. Bellato, aye. Cosidus. 
has this side. 12 eyes, Your Honor. Thank you very much. The committee then discussed moving the Finance Committee to the first and third Monday of the month. There being uh, no further business, there's a motion by Alderman Klinker and a second by Alderman Alexander to adjourn the meeting. Voice vote was taken. The meeting was adjourned at 8.30 p.m. Our next meeting will be September 16th, uh, this upcoming Monday at 6 p.m. in the East Annex. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Public Health and Safety Committee. Uh, there's no report. Our next meeting is the 17th, next Tuesday at 6 p.m. here. Thank you. Municipal Services Committee. No report. Our next meeting is October the 9th, 6 o'clock here in the East Annex. Thank you. Judiciary Committee. Uh, no report. Our next meeting is September 17th at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, any aldermanic announcements or comments? Alderman Bellato. All right, Mayor, I have a prepared statement that um, I was debating on bringing up tonight or not, but I'll bring it up tonight. It's been a quick meeting. So it's been about six months since we submitted a few aldermen and myself, and I believe Alderman Bill Farenwald submitted some questions related to the questionable purchase of two Chevy Tahoes. Um, and this is the previous city council. So Mr. Mayor, are you s still in receipt of these questions? In fact, I gave all those answers to the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, and right. they have my responses. So they have the investigation, and that's right. been almost, what, eight, nine months ago. So do you plan on providing the answers to the council? I have to let uh, what they told me I had to provide everything to them. I provided them everything. All right. So we know, just to bring, that this is a new council. We haven't had this discussion with this new council. So we know that sometime eight months ago or so, there was uh, possibly two cars purchased with a check that is from a bank that the city does not use uh, to carry motors. Uh, these vehicles were equipped with police lights and equipment, and at least one vehicle is being used for personal business by Augustus Corcus. Uh, personal relationship to the mayor, who has no role in the city. Um, do you s dispute any of those facts, Mr. Mayor? Uh, from my understanding, they're not police vehicles. That's what I heard All right. to inspect them. So we also have some questions about, that was brought to light by a few citizens also about the possible bi-il.gov website um, that we had some questions on that when we submitted our questions. Again, are you under investigation right now at the state or federal level that you know of? Did I have no federal, no state. They said they've been investigated, but I've given them all the information that I know. All right. And have you been interviewed? Yeah. In Clerk, fact, do you have any new information since this last uh, was discussed at the City Council? No. Oh. no. I have a question. question. I mean, this is all new to me. Are we pay uh, Tahoes, are we paying for storage for the Tahoes? I have no idea where they are. I, the county might even have them. I have no idea. All right, so my, my proposal is um, we really don't know as City Council what's going on yet, and it's becoming quite of a joke in the community. I hear it when I stop at the uh, local establishment, uh, just, you know, fix the streets with selling the Tahoes. I'm sure everybody in this council has been privy to some questions like that. And it's not being taken seriously, and now it's six months later since we submitted these questions. So I'd like to propose, um, I'd like to make a motion that, uh, that we do a roll call tonight to see if the city council is in favor of um, discussing a possible investigation not specifics yet, but discuss, discuss a possible internal investigation uh, regarding this issue so we have clarity on what's going on. So I'd like to make a motion that we take a roll call to see if at least the interest is there by the council to discuss this at a future meeting. I second the motion. Alderman, it's not on the agenda. This is just a poll. This is not a decision. Well, then you can poll the... You can poll the council. Then I'm asking for a poll roll call if the, the council is interested in continuing this discussion at a different meeting. So, clerk, I'm asking you for a poll. Roll call. I May I have a discussion and this vote? Yeah, I, I think this. Is there a discussion period? Well, the motion was made and seconded, so. Uh, maybe we'd like to also do a poll about whether there's interest in having the city council have some kind of investigation done into the incredible costs that will make this pale by comparison. But I, Alderman, I, that's why I didn't even bring up any of that. I want to send this to a committee. So that can be discussed and hashed out there. Right now it's just if their interest is there to pursue asking more questions. Okay. So, so I'm asking for a roll call, clerk. On, on what item? On what, I, what, what item? I'm asking for a, a poll if the, is it yes or no can we add an agenda item to a future uh, committee meeting to discuss 
more discussions on this possible investigation. Is the uh, committee chair there more than welcome to put that on? I'm asking for a roll call or a poll of my alderman. I'll complete it myself if the clerk doesn't want to. It's not that I don't want to. I don't know what I'm, I mean, I don't know what I'm taking a motion in a second for. Uh, what, I, what item? Yeah, people are more than welcome to express their opinion, but yes. as a motion, I don't think it's appropriate. Ask yes. Where do you want to start? I mean, ask them. Nancy? Uh, I absolutely, line. I absolutely agree line. that it should be put on the uh, next committee motion agenda. I, I mean, I, I, it, just go down the line. It's, it's not. I don't want to drag this out. So I don't know what you're starting that. with today. Donahue wants it. What committee is it going to? Or are you planning? Uh, the next. Uh, I was going to bring that up. The next, if it depends if it's favorable or not. If it's not favorable, I'm not. I'm done. So. I, I personally don't see the benefit of. I, I've thought about having an Did investigation, and I don't understand frankly what we could get out of it because <laughs> nobody can compel anyone to testify no one can go under oath and, that, and that's where you free it whatever committee it goes to to talk about it okay so I we skipped okay. over Holly, yeah. Alderman Holly um, I don't see what no <clears throat> I just think we have a lot more important things to focus on I say no Johnny? yes okay. yes <laughs> yes. 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 Considering there's a majority, I'd like to send it to the next available committee meeting. Whose meeting's next? Committee development. No, it's not on the agenda for that. It's too late to post. Alderman Donnie is. Is yours finance on Monday? I'd like the proposal to be on Monday's agenda for finance with anybody welcome to come. And go to any committee after that. That's all I have, unless anybody else has anything. Anybody else? I have an announcement. Go ahead. I'd like to let two things off. First, seeing the park district in the back, I know they're looking for barbecue, our volunteers for barbecue on the hill still, so mm -hmm. I'll be part of the Q crew. Uh, sign up for that. And then, second, uh, for our executive session, I'd like to have our legislative council in there. So, procedurally, do we need to do a motion, separate motion for that? To allow the legislative time. council in the executive session. I just want to make sure. So, no, no. Okay. So, so Thank you. Thank you. Okay. A couple things. Uh, one is, um, as the fall is coming, I don't know about the rest of the aldermen here, but I'm getting a lot of requests about um, alleys, the conditions of the alleys. And we talked about it a little bit in municipal services tonight, and uh, Alderman Carr is already noted that I think previously and we know that public works is under a lot of stress and pressure because they can't afford to hire enough people to do what needs to be done um, and I don't have a solution to propose right now but I just want to acknowledge that uh, the alleys in certainly in parts of our ward uh, I would consider to be a, a bigger problem in the streets because this is to the point where people just about can't get down their alleys into excess their garages so it's a really important thing that um, you know we just need to really focus on um, and I guess secondly I would just comment on the uh, proposal here to do a investigation on the Tahoe's that um, you know if we have priorities we want to set them um, you know we're, we're at the at the end stages here of spending you know what by my calculation is about five million dollars in settling of the Harrow and Robbie Silva case and the if you will read the uh, last filing by the, the law firm that was suing the city, uh, you will see that there is reason to wonder and maybe for the city to investigate why certain leaders and certain people who acted as leaders, who weren't leaders in that case, have left us with a $5 million expense. It makes the Tahoe thing look like a joke in comparison. Um, so. Just if those are our priorities, that would be a priority. Thank you very much. Treasurer? Yes, uh, I forgot to mention and to inform the council that uh, tax anticipation second installment, Bless you. Uh, yes. I'm planning to pay it either by Monday or next week for sure. It's 200, with interest, it's two, 254,000 and some dollars. 
but that will be paid next week. Uh, it's due by the 28th or 29th, but we're paying it to get her off the chart. Get her off the chart. Okay. Thank you very much. Any other? Go ahead. So yes. there are additional people that are deceiving the city of Blue Island, they need to be exposed. So that's why my guess for the Tahoe investigation. Okay. Okay. Do we have any update on the vehicle sticker? I do. Awesome. Um, so far this year we've sold 11,726 stickers, which is 387 more than last year's for a total of increase of $15,406. Oh, good, good job, Chief. <laughs> Let me good add job. this. I've gotten complaints about the taco yes. trailers parked in front of their homes. They're saying if you're doing it with the stickers, trailers have to go also from the city streets. So that's another issue we've got to address, the trailers that are parked in front of their homes from one, unfortunately it's one establishment here in Blue Island, but there might be other ones, landscaping, whatever they're parking in front of their home. So that has to be addressed. Go ahead. Um, on Monday, I called the Domino Pizza Corporation and I uh, found out that they do have grants. You were talking about the alley, so they do have grants in order to fix the streets and stuff. So as they told me as city council, we can apply for that. But they will stamp their uh, dominoes. Okay, yeah. it's all right. Now. Now. We'll take what we can get, man. Our problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they could put it on the sidewalk. Anybody else? Going? The uh, 33rd annual house walk is on Sunday from noon until 4 p.m. You can get your tickets at uh, Flowers by Kathy. Um, City Hall. Where can you get them? Rock Island Public House. Rock Island Public House, yes. Um, there's a dinner on Saturday. I think you can still reserve a space. Uh, it's a fundraising dinner for the Historical Society, and you get your tickets included for the house walk on Sunday. Uh, all you need to do is show up at the Albee House on Sunday to pick up tickets. Um, they're a little bit more expensive the day of, so if you can get to one of the other locations to pick it up ahead of time, you can save, I think, $5 a ticket. So uh, I believe uh, Alderman Mech's house is on it, as well as my house. And so, uh, so come on out. Hopefully it's a nice day. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Maddie, you need a motion to retire to executive session for consideration. And wait, because i got to read it. Mm -hmm. Collective bargaining negotiations matters, Chapter 5, Illinois Compiled Statutes, Section 120, Diagonal 2, parentheses C and the parentheses, parentheses 2 and the parentheses, and two, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of certain employees under title, Chapter 5, Illinois Compiled Statutes, Section 120, Diagonal 2, parentheses C, and the parentheses, parentheses 1, and the parentheses. So I need a motion. Uh, we'll read a second by Adam Donahue. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Let's go. Thank you. Just like to report that in closed that in closed session, we had a report from um, Attorney Horvath regarding the status of collective bargaining negotiations, and we also. Um, had a determination to assign to the Public Safety Committee uh, the issue of whether off-duty Blue Island police officers should be able to work security at the vault.